Hello everyone. So I feel like I haven't done a video in forever and I know I haven't. Um, but I wanted to do just kind of like a quick life update and just kind of tell you guys um, what's been going on. And I did a list of things that I wanted to talk about. I have some music playing in the background. So we're in my bedroom and I have a couple things I want to show you guys as well. So um, I want to be doing videos every week. That's been the plan. Um, but a couple of months ago, I basically had a health scare. And what happened was I was kind of getting like these like weird like heart palpitations sort of and it was just kind of like I felt like my heart was like beating really really like hard in my chest and I couldn't really figure out what it was I went to the doctor and um, they hooked me up to an EKG everything was normal they hooked me up to like one of those like things with the pads for 24 hours and basically you know it was just kind of like okay well nothing's really wrong with you but it's more or less like stress induced you know so it was like a huge cue and like a huge wake-up call for me to like learn how to like take things easy and take things slow and I feel like for someone like me that preaches all about like I guess relaxation and like candles and like how to like chill it's like very ironic right so it was just like all right well now i'm kind of learning my own lesson so it was like i feel like i wanted to come on here and catch up with you guys and i almost really like sharing like parts of my life with you and i feel like this was like a very good lesson to share as well that nothing is worth you stressing over I feel like everything in life every issue you are having there's always a solution for it and it's like water off the duck's back right like you kind of have to learn how to almost not stress and I know it's tough and sometimes it's like a little bit easier said than done, but yeah. So I wanted to share that with you, like, you know, just like a quick little tip to not stress, not stress over, especially over things you can't control. Cause I feel like for me, especially me being an overthinker, I almost like stress about things that I can't control every single time. And then it's like the problem in your mind is this small or actually like this big. And then the problem in real life is this small. So it's like, why are you stressing over it? You know? So I don't know. It was just like a little tidbit and a little, just like a little, I don't know, like a life lesson I wanted to share with you guys. Um, not stress. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. And like a lot of times like stress is like the silent killer, right? And I say it in air quotes, but it's, it's true. It really is. It really is a silent killer. So yeah, I was supposed to record a video for you guys that week. I didn't because I had all of that going on and I was very stressed out about like, what could possibly be wrong with me and what could possibly be wrong with like my body and you know it almost felt like I was not having a heart attack but something was wrong so um that happened and then we went out of town we went to France we went to Nice and it was beautiful um I had a beautiful time if you follow me on Instagram, I have my two Instagram accounts. I have 1111 um, Candle Company or Candle Co, which is my Instagram for my candle business. I will link both below. And then I have my personal account as well. I have been sharing pictures and videos and just like all of 
the experiences that I shared. Um, it was a very good trip as far as like discovering a new place. Um, and just, I love traveling and I love going and like finding these new places and just like submerging myself in the experience of it. So that was a beautiful experience. We were there for four nights. Traveling back and traveling to was definitely hard. Um, I actually ended up getting very homesick on the third day and I was just kind of, I don't know, I was just kind of done. I get very, very homesick. It doesn't matter really where I'm at. After the third day, it's almost like I just want to get back home and just kind of come back to my cave and come back to like my life and come back to my kids and just come back to everything and it's like it was hard to not be able to do that um right away because it was like no maybe like 16 17 hours of travel aside from um the layovers and all of the things but it was totally worth it i will be sharing more and more pictures on my instagram and i'll have those linked below if you want to check them out um and yeah i have some music playing um and i also wanted to share with you some products some products products that i love products that i don't really love um i'm not really wearing anything on my face all i'm wearing is my um chanel cc cream which is basically all i wear um it's like the first thing that i put on my face really quick and i just i don't know i like the way it feels it's very very good it's a very good product for like during the day so if you're like one of those people that it takes you a little bit to wake up and um like you're not really a morning person so you don't really wake up and like sit and do your makeup like whenever i wake up i get out of bed i wake the kids up for school usually if it's a weekday and then i come back to my bathroom and then i just kind of like put this on my face and that's basically what i wear all the time but i love it i love the way it feels i love the way it makes my skin feel and um yeah i really like it it has spf in it which is awesome so yeah i've been using a lot of oils on my skin lately too because the weather in nice really dried my skin um i also want to say something so i want to say that you and that's tony my fiance playing video games downstairs so it's a little loud um but i do want to say that you are not for everyone you are not meant for every single person you meet to like you and i feel like this is a lesson that i learned this in this past month, I would say. And that's fine. Like, you are not made for everyone to like you, nor should you stress whether everyone likes you or not. And I think that this was like a test for me as well. It's like, I'm completely fine with sitting at a table and not being 100% accepted by every single person at that table and that is okay you know and at the end of the day you also have to be comfortable with yourself to grasp that and to really live by that because then if you are living to being accepted by everyone else then are you really living truly who you are you know so i don't know i don't want to be too like preachy with this video it's like my catching up video but i don't know i just feel like these are things that i want to share with you guys and 
it's just like food for thought, you know? But yeah, so I will get back into my video. And um, aside from all the preaching and just giving you like food for thought and just like things to think about, I wanna share with you some products that I've been using lately and that I have used lately and what I have thought about them. Um, so, all right, so I'll start here. So the first product that I'm gonna share with you is a tried and true product of mine. And this is the Biore um, Witch Hazel, this is the soap. So this is the pore clarifying soap. And this is amazing. I use this usually once, maybe twice a day. It depends because sometimes my skin does get dry. And I love this. I love this product. I love the toner. And I like once I found out that they had a soap to go with it, I was obsessed. So I love this. If you do tend to get um, dry skin, I would say use one or the other because if you use both together, they will, like if you use the soap first to wash your face and then you use a toner, it does tend to dry your face and drying your face is not good. But yeah, so I love this product. I'm completely out. I have to get another one. I haven't done my nails in, gosh, over two months. And I had this finger and this finger get infected when I went to the salon. I don't know if I've shared this before, but yeah, be careful when you go to the salon because they don't necessarily clean their tools. And I went to a salon right by my house and I got my nails done before my trip. And yeah, they ended up, this nail got infected and this nail got infected really, really badly and it almost fell off. So be careful. All right, so I wanted to, sh uh, let's stick to, um, I guess, face. So I wanted to share this with you. And I am a huge fan of finding a good product. And like, for example, there's people that only use high-end products and there's people that use like drugstore products. I don't care. As long as it's a good product and as long as it's like worth it. And I feel like this brand and this product is completely worth it. This is my second bottle. And this is the Versed Daily Brightening Solution. It's a toner. And this is amazing. This is such a good product. It's my second bottle. So I do want to share it with you. You kind of just like put a um, cotton swab or like a pad on this, squeeze, uh, squeeze it down and then it'll pump up the um, solution and you just put it on your face and I feel like it just brightens up so much. Like I love this. I've used their products before. I used their, um, I think it was a night cream that they had and I loved it. And I'm like, you know what? They have it at Target. I want to find it. So it is the Versed Daily Brightening Solution. I absolutely love it. I preach this, like it's so good. So, all right. Um, when I got back from my trip, my skin was super dry and I wanted to use products that I already owned before going and purchasing something new. So I used, I had this from before and I stopped using it for whatever reason. And then I started using it back up because I didn't want any like harsh chemicals on my face. And it is the Glow Recipe uh, Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. I love this. It's very mild. Um, if you're looking for like something very drastic, this is probably not your product, but it's good for hydration and I could even spray it on my face now. You just shake it up and what I love about it, oh my God, it smells good. It smells like watermelon. But what I love about it is that the, the mist is so fine and I don't even, 
touch my face afterwards. I just let my, like, just let it all, like, sink in. But yeah, it's so good. I love this. I will be using this and I will probably be repurchasing this product. I love it. And it smells really good. If you like watermelon and the way watermelon smells, this is probably your thing. Um, speaking of face mists, this was also a product that I was using during the day, like throughout my day, like I had this in my car. And I used this, like, oh my gosh, my hair is all over the place. I used this um, just throughout the day. And it was the Crabtree and Evelyn, um, Evelyn Rose Refresh Floral Face Mist. And I love this product too. I've been really obsessed with face mists, I guess, because I've gotten so much sun. But yeah, this is also another good face mist. Um, this is good for like retouching or it's good if you're like at the beach or um, if you're just, I don't know, if you're just at the beach or you're like out getting sun or whatever, this would be like a really good product to keep in your purse. Um, the mist is not as fine as this one. So if you're worried about your hair getting wet or whatever, you definitely have to be more careful with this one, but it smells really, really good. It smells like rose. If you like rose, you'll love this. And I actually really enjoyed it. I still have, but I will definitely be reordering it and just kind of keeping it in my bag. Um, so while I was out of town, I, um, so the hotel that we were at, we were at um, the Four Seasons um, Grand Hotel Dukop Ferrat. And I, I love this place because it was beautiful. It had beautiful gardens and it definitely like really pushed me to plant more plants around my house. But I'll do another video on that separately. But um, one of the reasons why I love this hotel is because they had um, diptyque products so they had the diptyque, diptyque soap which i absolutely love but they had diptyque shampoo and they had diptyque conditioner and i had never tried diptyque conditioner or shampoo but i wasn't really sure if it was going to be one of those things that was going to be worth it because a lot of times like with a lot of like the higher end products that i've tried just because it's expensive doesn't mean it's good and I mean that with everything. Um, usually not, well, yeah, even, even candles actually. Um, Cause they have candles, but their candles are actually quite, they smell amazing, but they're toxic. So I had never tried to take hair care. I did, and I didn't really like it. I washed my hair several times just to try it out while I was there. And um, it, I don't know, I felt like my hair didn't feel as soft as it typically does with my shampoos at home. Um, so I got back home and I washed my hair with like the regular shampoos that I use and everything was fine. Um, but I do wanna share, aside from the Diptyque hair care products that didn't really perform as well as I thought they were. I want to share these two. And I feel like every time I share these products, it's a little bit controversial, not controversial, but just like everybody has like their own thoughts about the way um, shampoos and conditioners. So I have thick hair, I have very long hair. So I went on the website and I went ahead and purchased the Thick Hair Shampoo and the Thick Hair Conditioner. And I tried them both, exactly how it says in the bottle, and I was very underwhelmed. Very underwhelmed. Um, although they look cute in your shower, I really don't think that these are worth it. Um, I just, I don't know. I feel like I, I tried it the first time and 
I kind of just let my hair just sort of like chill. And then um, the next week when it was time to wash my hair again, I tried it another time. And I tried it, I want to say four times. Because maybe I'm like, you know what? I don't want to give a bad review for a product without really giving it my all. And I felt like I gave it my all. Obviously, you can tell by this bottle, it's all creased. And I'm totally underwhelmed. Um, I will never purchase these again for thick hair. They left my hair feeling very heavy. Um, very like, like you couldn't really like uh, run your fingers through it just because it was just like feeling heavy. And like the bounce, there was no bounce in it. It was just like dead weight. And it almost felt sticky. So if you have thick hair, I would say steer clear of these. Um, I do want to know what you guys think about their other, their other products because I haven't tried their other products and I am, I wanted to try their oil, the hair oil, but I'm apprehensive about it because of the experience that I've had with this. And I've even washed my daughter's hair with it and it's pretty much the same, so. I always want to keep it real and give you guys honest reviews, you know, I don't want to just review or, or just tell you guys about like the good stuff. I want to also keep you informed of the bad stuff and um, I don't know, just kind of like let you guys know like, hey, this product is not good. And if you guys are interested also in my current hair care um, products or what I am currently using right now, let me know and I can do a whole other video on that. My hair's I'm super happy with the products where I have right now and my hair is very very long so if it's I don't know I'm very picky with like the products that I use with my hair and I don't want anything um, I don't know like ruining my hair and also guys I do not wear extensions or clip-ins or anything like this is all of my natural hair. So if you guys are interested in like a hair care video, let me know in the comments and I will do one for you. Um, so on the way tip, I wanna share this. And this is a whole crease that I made on this freaking bottle because I absolutely love it. This is the body cleanser <clears throat> and I think I ordered the shampoo and the conditioner after I tried their body cleanser because their body cleanser is so good. So I ordered, I went to the store to Ulta and I actually purchased the body cleanser and I loved it. I love the way it smelled. I love the way it left my body feeling and I actually ordered um, the refill bag so I would refill this bottle with the refill bag and I refilled it about twice and I ran out because I absolutely loved it. It smells so amazing. So I think that's why they suckered me into their, um, into their hair care products. But yeah, the cleanser is delicious. This cleanser, I don't know which one it is. The bottle's all cracked and, but yeah, whatever this is, it is delicious and I absolutely love it. If you're looking for like a nice soap, a nice like shower cleanser to treat yourself, I would say this would be a really good option. I believe it was $28, but it lasted me a really long time and it has a lot of suds, which I love. So this I would definitely reorder again. Another body cleanser that I would definitely reorder is Molten Brown. Um, this was the Ylang Ylang um, body or shower oil and it is delicious. I absolutely love anything Molten Brown. I think that their um, shower gels are just, they all smell so good and I absolutely love them. Um, I will definitely be repurchasing and they have so many to choose from. 
Um, but yeah, so this, and it was the same thing. I love the way it left my body feeling. It smelled really good. It didn't smell like any other soap out there. I left a little bit of it um, just to smell it, to see which one I liked. But yes, this was absolutely delicious. I actually had this and the pink peppercorn. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the pink peppercorn actually smelled really good. But this, I think I like this one. Um, the most I tend to go I tend to gravitate more toward um, floral fragrances in general or clean fragrances in general when it comes to the body and things so this was definitely very beautiful so I love this and it works really really well in the bathtub too as like a bathtub for suds and stuff like a bathtub oil all right so um I want to show you this. So this is the Room and Body Mist by 1111 Candle Co. And I absolutely love this. Um, this is our product, of course. It is in the Sage and Sea Salt fragrance. This is not a fragrance that is available online. If you would like this fragrance you would have to email me there's very limited um stock on this fragrance mm. all right so there's very lim limited stock on this fragrance um it smells very very clean it smells very fresh it is delicious and i've been using this mostly on my bed so um we did laundry uh we i cleaned and i do laundry and i clean i take all the beds i strip all the beds and i spray this in between the layers so if i do like a sheet i spray if i do the comforter i spray if i do like a throw i'll spray it i even love spraying this in my like bathroom towels it is amazing so yeah, I've been definitely using this more around the house and all you gotta do is just shake it really, really hard and you spray it everywhere. It smells so freaking good. And we have this in all fragrances on the website. Um, this fragrance is not on the website, it's the Sage and Sea Salt, so if you are, interested in this fragrance let me know send me an email and i can have this for you it is very very limited uh stock so make sure you um email me and i will have that for you so yeah so i wanted to say thank you to every new person that has subscribed to every new person that has emailed me and just i don't know like i love getting your emails and i love just like sharing my life with you guys and just like sitting down and almost just like gossiping not gossiping but like i don't know sitting down and like catching up it just feels like i'm catching up with a friend so um Thank you for being patient in between my videos. I know it's been a long time from uh, the last time that I wanted to share a video with you. If you guys have any video suggestions for me as far as what you want me to talk about, what you want me to share, let me know and I will make a video about it. I will share it with you guys. So I hope you absolutely love it. It was so much fun catching up with you and I hope you have a great day.